It's time once again for The Law and You. Joining us once again, we have attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. So nice to see both of you. It's nice to see you too. We're ready to go. I mean, we're, we're almost at Christmas now. Well, it's only the 6th. Oh, we have well. a while yeah. still. <laughs> but we're getting flying there. By. It's just flying In by. In the holiday spirit, we love it. And we love free gifts, like yes. free legal advice. So here, we're giving you an answer today. Daniel in Scranton asks, I was walking into a restaurant last week and tripped over a crack on the sidewalk. I broke my wrist and hurt my back. I notified the restaurant and filled out an incident report. Who is liable? So, hmm. the, you know, so people may not know this or, or understand this, but you are responsible for the sidewalks outside your home, your business, um, you know, et cetera. So you have to keep them safe. And if there's a crack in it, then you have an obligation to fix that crack and make sure that it's not a hazard, especially if it's a restaurant. So if it's a restaurant, people who are coming into your restaurants have an even hot, you owe a higher duty to under the law, meaning that you have to inspect, warn, or make repairs. If you have a crack in your sidewalk, you're walking over that crack every, every single solitary day. You clearly have to have you have to see it, do an inspection, at least put a warning sign up at a minimum. Yeah, I mean, and a warning sign you could paint, you could put yeah. paint down on it, to, you know, like a, a fluorescent paint. A lot of things you can do to warn the people, try to repair it, um, do the best you can from a restaurant owner's standpoint. And obviously I think, you know, the, the person walking into the restaurant, you know, if it's open and obvious, that could be a defense to this case. Was the person impaired? What kind of shoes were they wearing? These are all the things the defense mm -hmm. is gonna ask when they defend this case. So. It, you know, if, if th this case came into our office, these are the questions we'd ask. This is the type of investigation we would do. We go out there and photograph it, video it, do whatever we can, and Measure then obviously, it. yeah, get yeah. some, get some, you know, get some photographs of it. Um, save your shoes, save your yep. clothes. All of those things will help uh, in in pursuing this case. Yep. All right, great advice today, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. If you have questions for the law, and you go to pahomepage.com.